This skill looks a lot harder than it actually is. It just involves you putting a number into a formula to generate the next term and the next term and the next term and so on. So in this question, the amount of bugs at the start of year N is given by this fancy notation BN. And the amount of bugs in the following years is calculated by using this formula, which basically means that the next year equals two lots of the previous year add 20. So all you need to remember is that this notation means the next year, and this one here is the previous year, or the current year. Okay. Right, so in 2017 there are 50 bugs. I'm going to start by writing that out. In 2018, that will be the next year, I'm just going to put 50 into the formula. So the next year is two lots of the previous year add 20. 50 add 20 is 70, doubled makes 140. Okay, so in 2019 we'll do that again. It's two lots of the previous year, which is now 140, and then add 20. 140 add 20 is 160, doubled is 320. I've got to keep going until we get to 2021 because that's what the question asks for. So in 2020, it's two lots of the previous year, add 20. So 320 add 20 is 340, doubled makes 680. And finally, we'll do 2021, two lots of the previous year, add 20. Well, 680 add 20 is 700, doubled is 1400. So the answer to the question is 1400 or 1400. That's how many this model or this prediction, how many bugs are predicted to be in the nest or in a colony at a certain time. Okay, so have a go at this question. Very, very similar. As long as you know what the notation means, it's very, very straightforward. Pause now before we go through the answer. So start by just recalling that that just means the next term and this bit just means the previous one. So in 2017 there were 100, let's start with that. So in 2018 the formula says 3 multiplied by the previous one minus 10. So it'll be 3 multiply by the previous term, subtract 10, and that's 290. Let's do 2019 now. Three lots of the previous one, and then subtract 10. Well, that's going to give us 860. And finally, let's do three lots of the previous one for 2020, and then subtract 10 from our answer to give us our overall answer which is 2,570. And that's the answer to this question.